Yeah, I have to ask, you guys have been, at the Times, have been live blogging uh, this uh, event, and 40 minutes ago, you wrote an observation that, that uh, I, I was very surprised. Trump appears to be sleeping, his head keeps dropping down, and his mouth goes slack. Tell us about that. Well, Jake, he appeared to be asleep, and you know, he repeatedly his his head would would fall down. There have been other moments in other trials, like the uh, the Agent Carroll trial, which was around the corner uh, in January, where he appeared very still and seemed as if he might be sleeping, but then he then he would move. This time, he didn't pay attention to a note that his lawyer Todd Blanche passed him. His jaw kept falling on his chest, and his mouth kept going slack. Now, uh, you know, sometimes people do fall asleep during court proceedings, but it, it's notable given the intensity of this morning and a lot of what was being argued. Yeah, that's rather surprising. Gee, I wonder why nobody wants to watch CNN anymore. <laughs> Things are so bad for the cable news network. They may end up leaving cable TV altogether. We got the latest. This is going to absolutely make your day. Hey, gang, it's me, Dr. Steve, your patriot professor, here to help you stay sane in these insane times. So if you haven't even done so, you know what to do. Make sure to smack that bell and subscribe button, and let's dive right in. An existential crisis. That is what CNN's new CEO, Mark Thompson, is saying of the fledgling news network. The former New York Times and BBC executive has been hired by parent company Warner Brothers Discovery to try to rescue CNN from its collapsing ratings freefall. And that rescue may involve the otherwise unthinkable, pivoting the cable news network away from cable news television altogether. It was a stunning admission, again, by the CEO, no less, CNN, the cable news network, the network credited with pioneering 24-7 cable television news, may indeed end up permanently turning off its channel. And for good reason. This bombshell comes on the heels of the recent ratings that came out for the first quarter. And let's just say I mean, things just couldn't be worse for CNN. As the audience continues to grow for both Fox and MSNBC, they're both seeing a ratings boost, CNN is actually hemorrhaging viewers. Fox News saw a 13% bump in viewership. MSNBC saw a 7% bump. But CNN could only manage a measly, inconsequential 1% bump. It was so bad that according to Nielsen ratings, CNN viewership has sunk to a 33-year low. Their audience is down 90% over the last two years. Again, just to give a sense of how bad things are, this week, we learned that Charles Barkley, you know, the guy who threatened to punch black people in the face if he saw them wearing a Trump mugshot T-shirt. Yeah, that guy. His new show just got canceled after suffering the worst primetime debut in a decade. If he thought making comments like that about Trump voters was somehow going to ingratiate him with CNN's audience, unfortunately, he was gravely mistaken. And that's because there is no audience. <laughs> CNN basically has no audience. Now, in fairness, we're talking TV here. Their TV audience, yes, is basically drying up. Their website audience is pretty darn good. They draw about 160 million hits a month on their website. Very impressive. And so that's why this new CEO is basically saying, well, let's seriously think about pivoting away from cable television. I mean, we're getting our asses kicked here, right? Let's have the cable news network pivot away from cable television and focus more on digital media like websites and apps on people's phones. And then he said that they might even sell data of their users and profit off of that. Again, it's all in a trial balloon phase, but it just shows you how frankly dismal things are for the most distrusted name in fake news. And it looks like things are about to get even worse Wait until you see this, but something you may not have seen. Forbes recently featured an article that found that more and more central banks around the world are starting to sell off and even avoid U.S. Treasury securities. Now, a decade ago, foreign central banks investors owned 43 percent of our national debt. Today, that number has dropped to just 30 percent. And guess what they're buying instead? Mm, can you say gold? It's true. Ten years ago, central banks acquired just 4% of the world's gold supply. Gang, today, that number shot up to 35%.
And this is why the price of gold is expected to continue to climb, because when all is said and done, more and more nations are dropping the U.S. dollar and instead turning to gold as a hedge to the declining dollar. That's why I partnered with the amazing company Gold Co., because they're patriots just like us who want to help you and guide you into how to get into precious metals completely tax-free and penalty-free. They're really amazing, and I could not recommend a company more than Gold Co. In fact, if you click on that link below right now, you can get your very own absolutely free gold and silver kit. It's an amazing free resource that shows you step-by-step how to get into precious metals, even if your money's still in a retirement account like an IRA or a 401k. And just to show you how awesome the Patriots Gold Coal are, the best part is that you may actually already qualify to getting up to $10,000 in free silver. I told you they're the best, so what are you waiting for, gang? Get in the action by clicking on that link below or going to TurleyTalksLikesGold.com and get your free gold and silver kit today. It promises to be a real life changer. It looks like CNN is now poised to clean house when it comes to their ultra leftist primetime lineup. Reports are out that the few remaining stars, if that's what you want to call them, the few remaining stars of CNN may be losing their jobs amid the fledgling network shakeup. Again, CNN's new CEO, Mark Thompson, is reportedly planning on making some huge cuts in the midst of the network's existential crisis, as he puts it. Among the names that are reportedly on the chopping block here, Anderson Cooper, Chris Wallace, Wolf Blitzer, and Jake Tapper. Now, this announcement that CNN is letting go of their primetime lineup comes on the heels of the shocking announcement some months back that the iconic CNN building in downtown Atlanta is no more. Again, gang, you just can't exaggerate what a colossal fall this is. As many of you know, CNN a few months back announced that as part of their cost-cutting measures, they were abandoning their iconic CNN headquarters. It was just a stunning admission that the most distrusted name in fake news was losing. It was losing its ongoing battle with President Trump. It was losing its ongoing battle with the MAGA movement. It was even losing its fake news war with its fellow woke network, MSNBC. CNN has been beaten by both the right and the left, and it seems like there's very little it can do to recover for, from that. Well, we'll, of course, continue to keep our eyes on how things develop here, but it does appear virtually certain now, when your new CEO speculates that the cable news network may be leaving cable news altogether, the days of CNN are indeed about to come to an end. Hey, gang, I just wanted to give you a huge note of thanks to each and every one of you, the thousands of you that have recently clicked on the link below and joined our Insiders Club. As many of you know, we were we took a big hit from big tech. Our channel was completely and totally demonetized. But you, literally thousands of you, stepped in and you rescued me and this channel by bypassing big tech and joining our Insiders Club. You made it loud and clear to the Silicon Valley oligarchs that we're a movement, an army of like-minded patriots who refuse to be silenced by the international woke police. And so once again, I just want to take this moment to thank each and every one of you who have joined our Insiders Club for coming to our rescue. And for those of you who want to join in on the effort and take action, gang, just click on the link below and join our email list. That way we will never, ever, ever lose touch with each other, no matter what big tech does. So just click on that link below, join our email list, and become a part of an army of literally hundreds of thousands of patriots dedicated to taking our nation back, most importantly, together.